Hi everyone, this is Sharan here. Welcome to my channel. Today and the next five days, we are going to see about SQL and databases. So before getting into the hands-on tutorial part of SQL, today we are going to see about the introduction about what is a database and uh, what is an RDBMS because that's what we are going to see in detail over the next few days. Uh, also about uh, how to design a database, like what is the uh, steps involved in designing a database and what's all the techniques that is used in designing the database. So these are all some of the basic concepts that helps you to understand about a database much better. Uh, that, that would help you to understand why the tables are uh, structured in a particular way uh, that usually happens in a top grade environment, the reasoning behind it and, uh, and so on. So first one is uh, like, what is a database? So database is nothing but a collection of data. So we are going to see in detail about the relational database, so which can be considered as a database with a relational data model. In simple terms, uh, and relational database consists of multiple tables, and all these tables can be related to each other. Uh, so for example, if I take a customer table as well as products table, so we can relate these two by saying that customers buys a particular product. So if we have a sales tables, sales details table, uh, so the the the, uh, the products that are bought by the customer would be available in the sales table. So there is a relationship between all these objects. So the objects are nothing but the tables. So that's the relational database where we have a set of tables that can be related to each other in a way. Uh, so having said that, so we are going to uh, get into the details of the relational database. So before going into the query. Uh, part like how to build queries, how to select various data. So we are going to see high level concepts behind designing or building a database. So in order to build a particular data, in order to build a database, there are three steps usually involved in it. So the first one is uh, coming up with a conceptual model and then coming up with the logical model and finally the physical model, like which is the actual database itself. So the conceptual model is something that is uh, that will be the initial part where we try to identify various uh, uh, va various objects. Like for example, if we take a particular a particular website that say that sells various products, so then we have to identify various objects like uh, the customer who will be buying f from this particular platform, the products that are that are sold on that particular platform, and uh, customer support. Whenever there is an interaction between the customer as well as the uh, the support uh, executive. And uh, and that could be other details such as inventory, like about various products, like how many products are available, and uh, the customers' details, such as like where the customers are located, what types of products the customers has bought in the past. So, so we have to identify all these objects. It would high level look like something like this. So we know what are all those objects are like uh, customer sales, products, uh, customer support. Uh, compliance and various things and then we try to relate them to each other like how they would be related how those objects would be related to each other at a high level to get an understanding about what are all the various data that would be required for this particular system and the second one is the logical model so here what we do is we go slightly deep into each of those objects so for each object that we have identified so we would come up with various attributes that would be required for example if I say customer table I need to identify various attributes that that uh, we would be storing or collecting about the customer. Like for example, like customer's ID should be generated, customer's name, date of birth, address, post, like postcode, uh, and so on. Like for example, if I take products, then uh, a product ID, product name, and the uh, the value of the product, the cost price, the selling price, and the, the total number of quantities that is available, and so on. That would be required in order to support the website or like whatever whatever portal that has been used. So that's the logical design, like where we do a step detail and understand all the attributes that needs to be that needs to be collected. So we also we also think about like how it needs to be related, like what what is the primary key, what is the foreign key. So when I say primary key, so that is the unit key in a particular table. So if this particular unit key is referenced in any other table, then then it is it would it would be called as a foreign key. 
so we need to come up with a detailed level of design so that's the logical design and finally the physical design is the actual implementation so where so some of these names might not be accurate when we come up with the logical design so in the physical model so we would accurately reflect what's the name of those attributes or tables that has been stored in the backend so that's the normal uh, methodology that uh, is used in order to in order to let like, uh, uh, designing a particular db so having said that there are like uh, techniques that are used commonly in order to design a particular database so the techniques are uh, as you see on the other side uh, of the board so the techniques are like normalization as well as entity relationship design uh, so we will be going through into the details right uh, of normalization up to third normal form so there are like a first normal form second normal form third normal form up to six normal forms and uh, most of the databases like achieves the best efficiency a third a third normal form so like in any environment like in most environment that you would operate on you will see a database that is at a third normal form because that's when the efficiency is very highest it stand of balances everything uh, and so we are going to see in detail about uh, about first normal form second normal form and third normal form by using a simple example <laughs> okay so coming to the uh, normalization uh, as i said yeah normalization is a is a technique that is used to design used to design uh, a data, database so coming to the first normal first normal form so what the first normal form says is the first normal form says that every record should be unique and each cell should store only one value so if you see here this is a classic example of a first normal form where each and every row here will be unit and each and every cell like each of these cell will have only one value so if you see here the customer b has bought two particular products so ideal like um, um, most likely like if we if we want we can store these products by comma separated in the same cell because like everything else is same like the name age the store from where it has been bought the postcode of the customer the state where the customer lives everything everything is same it, the only difference is the products are different so we can uh, make like we can store it in a single cell um, by separating them using like a delimiter like comma or tab but what happens is that breaks the first normal form rule one of the rule of first normal form is every record should be unit that will still hold fine the second rule is each cell should hold only one value so when we try to store both the products in one particular cell that breaks the first normal form rule so then what happens is we need to treat it as a separate row so that uh, both the rules of first normal form are addressed like or not been broken so that's the first normal form so this is a, a, an example of how it would look like so moving on to the second normal form so second normal form is nothing but the first normal form plus that should be a single column primary key so here in this table uh, uh, in order to satisfy or in order to satisfy the second normal form what we need to do is we need to divide this table into two different tables so as you see here the one table like it would have the customer id like name age store from where the customers is buying like post store and the state of the particular customer and what we do is we treat the products as a separate table so we consider the customer id and products so here the first table the customer id that we are referencing here is the primary key of this particular table and the second table here the customer id becomes the foreign key so what happens is here that there is a single column primary key the customer id is the primary key and in case of multiple products what we do is we create as we have created a separate table and we join these two based on customer id so whenever we want to under, we want to understand like what are all the various products that were bought by a particular customer we join this particular table using the customer id and then we get the products so now both the conditions are satisfied like first normal form every record should be unit uh, as well as uh, there should be one cell should have only one value so first normal form rules are satisfied and this and then second rule here in case of second normal form is the single column primary key 
so here in this table there is a single column primary key and then the, in the second table that's been used as a foreign key so that's still satisfied so this is an example how to convert how to convert a first normal form table into uh, into the second normal form moving on to the uh, moving on to the third one which is a third normal form so this is when the efficiency uh, will be highest there are still like further normal like a fourth normal form fifth and sixth normal form and then still uh, and then the research is still going on like maybe in sometime in the future there would be something like a seventh normal form uh, uh, that could come up uh, so in case of third normal form what happens is it should satisfy the second normal form conditions along with it there should not be any transitivity so when i say transitivity it is uh, nothing but for example if i take this particular table so here customer id uh, and the name like customer id is like name is dependent on customer id age can be related to customer id whereas what happens is postcode where a particular customer lives uh, like postcode is depend on the customer id whereas if we take state the state depends upon the postcode so if we see there are two levels of relationship like for when I, whenever i want to change the postcode here what happens is i need to change the state as well like i need to change in two different places because of transitivity because the state value here is dependent upon the post code so there is a possibility whenever i change the post code whenever the customer changes the address so when i have this certain normal form table i need to change in two different places because of transitivity so now if i am able to remove this relationship like post code and state relationship and then treat it separately as a table so then what happens is if you consider this example where i have three i have broken uh, this table into three tables like these two tables into three tables so i have customer id i have name age store post code as is in one uh, in one table and customer id and product same as it in normal form the third table that we are creating here is post code and state so what we have done is when wherever the transitivity rule was being broken we have separated those attributes and then created a new table so now so this table satisfies the third normal form because it satisfies the conditions of a second normal form and then it doesn't have any transitivity so that's about the uh, the normalization technique that is mostly used in designing a particular database so the next one is entity relationship design so this is something like uh, coming up with uh, like coming up with various uh, objects like uh, like Uh, customer store sales and uh, post code various objects and then identifying the relationship between them and uh, and using that approach in order to design a proper database so what I, what we will do is we will go into the uh, tutorial and then i will show you using mysql workbench like how to create an entity relationship model as well as if we already have a database how to reverse engineer and get the uh, the entity relationship models from the for the particular database so let's go into the tutorial and then see about uh, see about the er design uh, which is used for designing a database coming to the tutorial part let's see how the er design which is a graphical approach in a, for a database design works so in order to create a new entity relationship uh, model so what you can do is as you see on my screen so you can go uh, click on this home button here and then there will be various steps like one is for the sql connection the second one is for models and then third one is for migration like if you are going to migrate any new databases so what we need to do is we need to go to the uh, models tab and then click on the plus uh, button here uh, so which will create a new an, a new mysql model so here we can click on add diagram in order to uh, we can double click on add diagram in order to create an, a new uh, enterprise like entity relationship uh, uh, diagram so here there are various icons here so this is used for creating a particular table so first we will uh, create all the tables and then the relationship be uh, between them so we can use this uh, uh, icon here double click here and then we can either create some template that is already available for example if i click on user and then click on the screen here so this creates me creates me the table uh, the uh, the table named user and the various attributes uh, in it so i can edit uh, uh, this one 
and I can change various attributes here, change the name and then define what needs to be the primary key and so on. So if in case I want to create, let's say a new object. So what I can do is I can double click on this icon here and then click on none. So which will create something new, fresh. So I can edit this as well and then tip on add in the columns that is required uh, like ASD one two three and so on and then we can we can define like what needs to be the primary key what should be the data type and how long it should be and very and so on so this is how it need like it it is created and then we can also map 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 uh, the relationship by defining like whether it is one to one relationship or one to many relationship which can be seen here so this is how and your model will be will be created um, so after coming up, uh, up with the conceptual design, like why when we uh, dive deep into each of those objects, identify various attributes, so, so this would be created. So this helps us in providing a good understanding about like how the database would look like. Not only that, it will be very useful for someone who is going to start working on a new DB. So all these like uh, deep like databases on a corporate environment will be huge. Like it will have hundreds and hundreds of tables, and without knowing. Uh, the logical design like how the different tables are related to each other it will be very difficult to just directly go to the tables and then try to understand them so this is a very good means for helping the people to understand better about the databases about the various objects and how they are related to each other so let's say like uh, let me close this and then let's say uh, we have we have already uh, existing database and we want to reverse engineer and uh, create the uh, the entity relationship diagram uh, we can do that so here i'm using uh, mysql and then i'm using so this is the mysql workbench i can provide you the link for installing these tools online so both of these uh, like uh, the mysql database and mysql workbench are open source so uh, whatever whatever uh, lap like whatever uh, environment you are working on like uh, windows or linux uh, it should be fine uh, you should be able to install this one and then it comes up with a default database so the default database that we see here uh, so we can reverse engineer and get the uh, er diagram for this particular database so in order to do that i need to select this particular database and then go to the databases on the top tab and then click on reverse engineer so after clicking on reverse engineer, I need I just need to follow the steps. So this is an local instance. So I'm not going to change any of these details. Uh, so it will prompt me for the password. I'm going to provide the password. Okay, so now uh, the access has been granted. So I move on to the second step. So I need to select the database for which we are going to reverse engineer. So this is the data default database that I'm going to reverse engineer under the uh, entity relationship diagram. And then I'm going to move next. And uh, pretty much I need to just follow the steps uh, and execute it. So once uh, this is complete, so as you see on the back end, uh, the entity relationship diagram is generated for this particular default database that comes up with uh, MySQL DB. And uh, so this helps in understanding about the various uh, various objects and how they are related to each other. So so that's it about uh, about the entity relationship diagrams and how it has been useful in not only designing a DB but also in uh, in 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 terms of uh, helping someone to understand the DB much better. So that's it for the first session today. So what we have seen is at a high level, we have seen what a database is, like what are all the steps involved in designing a particular database that is like coming up with a conceptual design, logical design and the physical model itself and the different techniques that is used in database design such as normalization, detonate uh, and what are all the various normalization. So we have covered first normalization to third normalization. So third normalization is the most popular and so that would be that would be good enough for you to work on any any environment and we also saw about the entity relationship diagrams and uh, how it is useful in uh, in understanding the database as well as designing the database so that's it for today so in the next session we will start into the hands-on tutorial to see how to how to write queries how to select various data how to filter it and uh, so so on so uh, stick with me uh, see you on the next session see ya uh, and by the way like if you like uh, 
I liked uh, this series and uh, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't so far. And if you think that this might be helpful for someone who's trying to learn uh, learn data science and the various uh, uh, various topics that are related to data science, such as the one that we are covering today, the like databases, uh, please share it with them. Uh, bye for now. See you in the next session.